Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where you get the best sales and entrepreneurship information, knowledge, tips and tools in the whole wide world. Today's video is a little interesting because I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I grew to 10k followers on Instagram in less than a year. Now if you've been on this channel for a while, you will know that I had uh, a bit of a, 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 a grown Instagram page over time and then last year at around August it got hacked. And I basically lost everything. Part of my business was obviously Instagram and that's where I got most of my clients. And I had to basically restart my journey. And it's been, I think, over a year now. And we're sitting on, if I'm not mistaken, 17 a thousand followers and I just want to share with you guys some of the things that I really did to accelerate because I had tasted what it feels like to make money online and I just knew that I needed to rebuild this thing as soon as possible so I can get back to creating that income but also diversifying my business to enable me to make a lot more money so I noted down a few things that I did that I think you can do literally from the moment you watch this video and a year later if you're consistent with them you will thank me so I want to be quick let's do the first one the first one is I started posting twice a day seven days a week <laughs> i know this is a lot okay for a lot of people but that's what i did i was posting at 7 a.m in the morning and i was posting at 6 p.m in the evening and literally spending the day engaging with people the whole idea around that posting was that i needed to make sure that every single content piece that i'm putting out is valuable but also i needed to be so present that the algorithm pushes me so much so i was doing a lot of reels actually both of those were videos i was doing one video in the morning and i was doing one video in the evening for visibility it was a lot of work but I, evidently it paid off the second thing I did was I was offering value by producing content that really speaks to people's needs I became very super niched when I started the new page in my previous page I was doing a little bit of both I was showing you guys my family etc etc and with the second page I really dedicated it to be more business it was very niched the reason why it had to be so niched for me is I wanted the algorithm to know from an SEO point of view where to place me and who to give me to so for instance what you do is every time you create content, you put hashtags. And if you are consistent with a certain theme that you're going to put on TikTok, on Instagram and all the other platforms, the algorithm eventually picks up that this is the kind of creator that you are. And it will kind of bring you into the eyes of, uh, bring you to the eyes of people that seek or require that kind of content. And that is something that I definitely did. And I saw it really begin to escalate my content. The third thing that I did was I engaged with my community in my comment section and inboxes. This was most definitely to build a relationship with the new audience that was now finding me and a bit of the old one that didn't know where I am but didn't know if I was still back on Instagram but more than anything it helped me do a lot of research because the more I engaged with people the more I knew what their needs were the more I knew what were they looking for so what it actually then did is it escalated my business a lot more because as I was sharing more information at 3,000 followers people were saying please can I consult with you please can I have a meeting with you and I thought oh this is actually nice I never used to do consultations in my previous page and then I started doing consults within this page the new page now and that was a new revenue stream into my business literally starting this new page opened up the podcast the platform and the growth that I now have on all my social media platforms because it was more niche and more directed so engaging with your audience is such a powerful tool and I know a lot of people can sometimes feel like it's overwhelming but guys it's not overwhelming if you haven't grown to the level that that you want to grow yet so you have to make sure that you are actually doing the work in a way that's going to help you grow even more the fourth one was collaborating with other creators this really helped it might not fully i don't know if it will work for you but i want to share it because it really works differently for a lot of people so for me because i already had a, a brand that was semi-established a lot of people in the industry knew what had happened to my profile and they actually were helping me in terms of um collaborating with me for instance pumile Dwaba had a live session with me on instagram and at the time I had 2,000 followers when I restarted and that really helped me gain uh, more people. Some of my friends in the industry that I had in the past shown a lot of value to really helped me and they did live sessions with me. Uh, they were posting about my work to help me reach a bigger and a better audience and that for me really, really, really worked well. I share that to say if you are somebody who's giving value, if you are somebody who's consistent with actually catering to people's needs, people will see that and eventually people will find ways that they can help you reach a bigger audience or share an audience with you not because they like you as a person that does count yes but because they see the value in which you bring in your specific market and I think that's something that really worked well for me so showcase your value even if you don't lose an account god forbid you don't lose your account but you also put
put yourself in a position where people see the value and they want to back you up. They want to support you. They want to uh, boost you in within their audiences so that you can get a bigger and a broader audience because they love the work that you do and they can see the value that you're giving. So very, very important. The fifth one is a very interesting one. I started creating content that I deemed very controversial. And not controversial as in like, oh, it was so spicy, it was gossipy. No, I am a very opinionated person. And with my previous account, I always try to play it safe. And I'll give an example. Like the new thing is like this new video that's on my Instagram at the moment that is trending um, that I am talking about how there is no, um, there's no excuse to doing the work. You have to do the work. You have to just put in the hours. That's a piece of content a year ago. I would not have... Um, um, thought about doing because I would have thought to myself, no, um, you know, I'm I'm encouraging the hustle culture. I'm encouraging people to like overwork themselves and burn out. But now it's like, no, I'm not. That's not what I'm encouraging. I'm just saying that you have to be willing to do the work in order to get the results. And whatever hard work looks like, to whatever hard focused work looks like to you is what you have to do. And I think with the with the new page, I stopped focusing a lot on like what people would say, and I started honing into my personality, into what are the things that are speaking to me the most in this season what is, what is working for me in this season the reason why I spoke a lot about that hard work not being like negotiable is because that's a rule that I was applying for myself and that I was seeing work that's a rule I was applying for myself where now with the new page I was making more money now with the new page I built a solid business now with the new page in a few months we had a digital product we had a physical product that we were selling at Mall of Africa we we were widespread we were collaborating with CNN we were doing so much work because we never stopped we just accelerated to doing the hard work and that is something that I continuously share to this day that if you can just continue to do that hard work within your putting out the content being valuable to your audience and building the business it'll work I was using this analogy with someone the other day that you know um, hard work is almost like an airplane right it's like before it takes off it has to literally let move within a certain speed on the ground to enable it to take off smoothly and if you are somebody who feel like who feels like they haven't taken off at the moment literally that speed that the airplane takes is where you are and imagine if before takes take off the speed just you know stops or it decreases the speed it will not take off properly it will unfortunately for you know argument purposes it will crash it will not go it will not accelerate to the level that a normal airplane should so what i then advise is if you're here the the, the whole plan here literally on this uh, playing field is to accelerate as much as you can because once you take off you can then regulate speed. Once you take off, you can then kind of move this way in that direction. You can have a bit of a rest. You can then start moving at the same speed every single day because now you've taken off. But if you have not taken off, you have no liberty or rather you have no freedom to be, let's say, oh, today, I, now I'm going to move at like 20 kilometers per hour and then tomorrow I'll do 100 kilo. No, you have to be consistent with the speed that you're moving in because only when you accelerate that way do you build momentum. And only once you build momentum do you start enjoying the results of compounding success because this compounding success is going to help you it's going to make your life so much easier when you do that so those are just a few things that I did but more than anything focus on your niche if you have seen with most of my profiles, they are very niched. Focus on your niche. And I mean, I'm still small compared to a lot of creators out there. But I share this because it's part of what I'm doing within the journey right now. And the more that we grow, the more things I'll share with you guys. But if you're looking to grow your Instagram account in 2025, in within the rest of this 2024, whichever year you're watching this, I need you to know that you need to do the work to accelerate, to build momentum so that the followers can begin to compound. And as they compound, the growth will happen. That's why for a lot of people, sometimes it looks like they've grown in a, in a short period, not because, and sometimes that's not always the case. Some people just do go viral, but sometimes that is caused by compounding work that they've been putting out that the algorithm does see your consistency or one famous person sees your consistency and they love your work and then they post you on their platform and then it gets you more people to come in. So just continue to do the work and continue building all right i hope that this has been valuable to you and i'm wishing you all the best and all the amazing success into building your your, your profile your business your portfolio whatever it is that you're interested in in this year and in the new coming year i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye Whew.